So I'm just going to talk you quickly how to check if a company is NIC EIC registered. Obviously they're going to tell you that they're registered, but you need to do your check. So you go on the website, just Google NICEIC.com. Uh, the NICEIC do have a few websites, but it's just this one here, .com. Um, this is a, the front page here. And what you want to do is go to Householder. Um, which is this section here and there's a few sort of options um, there's some interesting stuff to read here actually this is quite a handy little thing you can do certificate check there's a link here that takes you to check my notification so if someone's um, registered some work some domestic work via part P uh, building regulations you can go on this website here put your put in your postcode and it will come up with if it has been registered if you haven't um, received the notification you do have to pay for a certificate but your contractor should actually give that to you but anyway let's go to find a contractor so it's um, nice and simple here you go in this find a contractor you can either type in via postcode or company name so I'm just going to quickly show you um, uh, I'll do this postcode here, we press enter, internet's playing up, come on, and it comes up with blue surf facilities, it actually comes up with the nearest um, contractors to that area, and it says here approved domestic pat test which trusted trader, so that's nice and simple or you can check by the company we'll do the same sort of thing we'll type in blue serve and it's come up there and it's the same thing so you can do it by the name town or county or the postcode so pretty straightforward and that sort of shows exactly what's what and you can click on what that covers so what we assessed for uh, that kind of thing pretty straightforward so yeah that's pretty much it really um, very simple, doesn't take long at all. And most of the competent person schemes have little checks like this.